win a floor ticket to see Dead & Co. What? Dude, Dead & Co, Vegas, opening night, The Sphere, 5 16, 24, GA on the floor. You're speaking another language. Dude, we're gonna ride the rail. The train? No, John, Jeff, O'Teal, Bob. They're coming? Dude, look, Bob Weir, John Mayer, Jay May? I love Jay May. Well, you're gonna be right up on him. How do I win? Like, subscribe, follow. Every engagement gets you one chance closer to winning the ticket. Where can I find rules? HippieNotHippiePod.com. Hell yeah. I'll see you there. 516-24. I'm Zach Moss. And I'm AJ Fenney. And this is Hippie Not Hippie. Hey everybody, welcome to episode 68 of Hippie Not Hippie. Yeah, one more to go. Yeah, we are joined by a uh, <laughs> special guest today. We have uh, actually uh, the first podcast I ever did in my life oh. was with uh, this person. Uh, very funny uh, comic, uh, been killing in Denver for years. Give it up for D. Kelly, everybody. Hey. Thanks for having me, guys. It's good yeah. to be here. Whoa. Taking it back, huh? To yeah. the to the start, almost vagrant days. That's like that was like wow. twelve and a half years ago. I don't think I'd even done stand up yet. What was yeah. the pot? Was that your yeah, pod? I was, I was on a podcast. We did episodes, hundreds. <laughs> like what? we got to like hundred. <laughs> we got up to about a hundred and twenty before I stopped. And what was your podcast? Uh, it was called Almost Vagrants. Uh, what if we? This is like before podcasts are even a thing. We're just like doing. So this Mark shit. Maron stole the idea from you. That's what you're saying. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, they might yes. have actually started before Mark Maron. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's was, how old it was. Because when I did yeah. it, it was in like 2012. Yeah. Wow. Was, so it was before you said before our, you were doing. No, stand-up. 2011, maybe. Even? Oh wow. Yeah. And what was before, the concept of the pod? Uh, we reviewed like. Funny news stories, like he'd find clips, videos, crazy articles. So like oddball like stuff, on, yeah. And we just like riff on that shit. It oh was wow, a lot of fun actually. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. no, it was a good pod. It was, so and it was there was four people just on the pod in general. Wow. It was uh, D uh, Kevin Kevin A Fox, yep. and then uh, Alex uh, Martinez, yeah, 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 and uh, James Fisher. Yep. Right, Dude, yep. I think I only know one of those guys, and he's on the other side yeah. of the table. Yeah, and then uh, this guy Chris Talent. Oh yeah, yeah, he yeah he was he kind of left though, but yeah we did it. I mean, like I said, we did over a hundred episodes. Wow, and this is before, of course, before podcasts are a thing. So it's yeah. just like it's just out there, and it, it didn't. It sounds like a fun concept though. You could well, yeah. you could probably revive that easily. I yeah. mean, the concept really was like James finding the most <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, shit. <laughs> like, still, like some of the most fucked up things I've ever seen so, on the internet were things that James showed me on that podcast. So, what do you yeah. mean by so? It wasn't just oddball stuff. I, You're saying I, dark I have shit. A, I have a perfect example. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for this. <laughs> so he pulled up this ja- uh, Japanese game show. You should be able to crank oh, it. I think I'm four. That was there. You, yes. I remember okay. that better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he oh, pulled up this Japanese game show where, like, the... the, <laughs> the <laughs> I love how Dee's laughing because he's like, this so, is pretty fucked so up. So they, they had a straight porn star getting his dick sucked under a table... Oh, no. ...by a gay a- porn star... And if he came, he lost. <laughs> yeah, and he had to. They, it, it, it. Wait, so did the guy know there was a guy under the table? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. It's like what? covered, and the audience can't see, but you can clearly see. <laughs> yeah. The guy's yeah, yeah. It's, it's like it's cloaked in mystery. You know, they're never. Yeah, they're not, it'd, be like, <laughs> it'd be like if somebody was yeah. sitting behind the t- like. It'd be like if we had a, a blow man under the 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 yeah. tie dye cloth here. Yeah. And you know, and you couldn't see what was happening, but you could definitely see in the guy's face. Yeah, yeah, because he's you know, 
I, 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 I don't know what the game show was. It's like, haha, you're gay, yeah, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Welcome to another episode of Ha Ha, You're Gay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the game show where everyone comes. No one was ever won. Yeah. <laughs> and while you're getting your dick sucked, you got to do your ABCs backwards. Oh, we're right? <laughs> <laughs> But no, so they, they're... Like, oh, they, yeah. is, was he doing like trivia or something? Yeah, he while had I was to, like, going, do stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think he was, he had to like play a game show too yeah. while he was oh, getting God. blown. Yeah. And based on like how many questions he got right, right, you know, and also you know if he came or not, that was like kind of the God. object of the show. So, and that was a light day on the pod. Yeah, it was. <laughs> but that was my. Did you ever have that weird thing where someone would get you to click the thing, and all of a sudden it was like, "How gay are you?" And then once you hit the button. It was just a dude being jackhammered by another dude, and his dick is spinning in circles. And they go, however many times it spins, that's how gay you are. Do you know this? <laughs> dude, I was working at a... Okay, I was working at a I construction feel like, site. I feel like you have told me about this. I, maybe on the pod even, but go... Maybe, no, I want to hear it again. <laughs> so the weirdest thing here is uh, I was working at a construction company, and my dad had got me the job. I get called into the office. My dad is also in there. And uh, they're like, hey, we just need you to fill out this form. And I was like, what? And I just sit down on the computer. I should have known because there was a bunch of old dudes standing around me. And uh, they go, just hit enter, and the form pops up. And I was like, okay. And as soon as I hit it, it's just immediate. And everyone's going, oh! And I'm going, what the fuck is happening? And uh, I was like, whoa. And they're like, wow, you're pretty gay. But not as gay as your dad. <laughs> 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 but you're just sitting there. And, I mean, it's just... Literally, you can see nothing except a dick just jackhammering another dude, and just the dick is just spinning in a circle, and then wherever it stops, and it's literally just how many times before you uh, before yeah. you click stop. Yeah, I didn't click stop. I froze. <laughs> like that was immediately when I was like fight, flight, or freeze. I'm just like ah. Well, yeah, I remember the jump scare ones too. Or you'd like click a thing, and all of a sudden it was like the video of that guy getting his fucking head cut oh, off, or like. Dude. Yeah. Those were bad. I had a guy in Oklahoma one time show me that. He was just like, hey, man, come here. I got to show you that. And it's that, like, senator or whatever getting shot. Oh, shit. And I was like, why do you, what are you doing? He's like, fucked you up, huh? And I was like, yeah, dude, the show tonight is going to be real bizarre now. Yeah, I, no, there was a, there was, like, a site that somebody, like, took me to in class. And, like, the first three things I saw were, like, in, in college or high school? In college, where, like, that guy getting his head cut off, and the next thing they clicked was then, like, that guy getting fucked to death by the horse. And oh then, like, oh. yeah, I got, it was, like, uh, in, in just, like, three clicks, I saw probably the most horrible things on the internet. Wow. And Until the, you got on D's podcast. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I didn't say, yeah. Uh, well, no, I think I was like, hey, James, you would love this site for research. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he would find some of the, like, and... and I remember what happened. Uh, one of the craziest things that happened. Everyone was talking about. Remember that guy ate that eight. guy on that bridge. What? Yeah. Oh. Like a few years, he was like uh, bath salts. Or yeah. Oh, was yeah, 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 yeah. The, the guy, guy ate that dude's like, face or something. Yeah, right? And the the cops showed up and they they couldn't like take him down. Like he had that footage. Like when that, <laughs> like that day he found that footage of that shit and like whoa we reviewed, yeah. I was like, what the fuck? You guys were you fucking breaking yeah, news. The, the guy, the guy like, like, like real life zombie shit. Yeah. And, and they shot him like 10, 15 times and he yeah. wouldn't go down. Yeah. That shit. That's good. You gotta <laughs> <laughs> There's a review somewhere yeah. online of that video. God, I'm not going to lie, dude. It does make me want to have a segment where we hide something under the table. <laughs> <laughs> and but at the end of it, we're like, "What do you think's under there?" <laughs> <laughs> it's a Japanese porn yeah, star. Like, oh, <laughs> man, I was, I, it's just a shoe. <laughs> yeah, we just. Uh, <laughs> I can create a blur effect from the table down. Oh, yeah, just, do that. <laughs> <laughs> just do that. <laughs> Just AI. <laughs> it's just the person you can see it in the video. They're just going, "It's me again." <laughs> But yeah, I heard, yeah. you know, I just wonder like what you got to do to get on that game show. <laughs> you know? I waited Apparently in line with my family a- all day long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in a shirt that said Bob Rules. There's all these other porn stars. And I was like, I don't know, maybe I'll get on, you know, yeah. maybe I'll get on, maybe I'll get off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I'm not wearing underwear like they asked. Just let me in. <laughs> Like, yeah, it's taking forever with this guy. And the guy's just going, yeah, I, I know about this show. I jacked up before I got here. Uh, so, 
<laughs> but uh yeah fucking d what's your first uh memory of like a hippie like do you like when you think of hippies oh what damn. are just like the first time you remember encountering a hippie or like hearing about hippies or uh <sighs> wow um damn i think what is that there's uh a famous hippie story about it's something to do with a bus. And oh, like the further they, bus. The the yeah, and they, they adopted this as a bus and painted it and like lived in it. And shit. Yeah, I watched that. The documentary. Yeah, in elementary school, I believe. I don't Whoa. know. We had to watch this. We had to watch that. Is the magic school bus? <laughs> yeah, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> um, about the bus. Yeah, they went yeah, from San Francisco did, yeah. to the World's Fair. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, we, I watched that documentary in school. And wow. It's like, I remember that. Very yeah, it was fit. Ken and, Kesey. The bus was driven by yeah. uh, Neil Cassidy. Yeah. And acid experiments and... Yeah. Uh, you watched that revolution. in school? I, re- I remember watching this segments of it. I don't know if we watched the whole thing or we were allowed to watch pieces of it, but I remember that bus. Wow. Like, that was like my first... Like what grade do you memory. think? Uh, elementary school, third, fourth grade. Wow. Around there. And... You're from here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, where'd you go to elementary school? I went to a lot of... It was probably private school. I was at a private school at the time. Yeah. Uh, that would make more sense. Yeah. Where they're yeah, like... Yeah. They could do, I mean, yeah. I was like, I'm hearing this. Yeah, and I'm like, this not, sounds like a teacher that yeah. really gives a fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not, no, not public school curriculum at all. It's definitely private school experience. And I'm pretty I'm pretty sure we weren't... Like, we didn't watch the whole... Because there's some, like, risque stuff in that yeah. movie, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure we watched yeah, segments of it. probably like a hairy armpit like, next to yeah, a nipple. There's, like, pieces of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 The, the nudity, like, all that. Well, there was, we there was some wild stuff that happened on that trip like they broke down race barriers at one point yeah. uh because there was like yeah i don't remember what it was it was like a lake or a beach that was uh, designed or designated yeah, yeah, and like, they just went right into it and uh you know everyone got along but yeah I, that's probably what the study had to do it was probably during black history month or something <laughs> 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 like, there are black uh, people on this hippie bus <laughs> <laughs> that's usually how it goes yeah like, <laughs> So do you remember it being like a pot? Like, did you have a positive view of hippies? Yeah, I don't think it was negative. It was like, you know, free love, revolution, uh, and and like like AJ said, a lot of times hippies, you know, they they fought for desegregate. They fought for those yeah, things, civil that like, rights and shit, and yeah. they intersected with a lot of those civil rights movements. So it came up, yeah, in in certain like conversations and stuff. So yeah, but that, that's like my earliest memories. That bus. Wow, that, that LSD bus. That's a cool. That like, that's <laughs> a cool. Have you ever read the uh, the electric Kool Aid acid test? The, yeah, the, some of it. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. Uh, Tom I Wolf wrote that, and that, that is bizarrely uh, like autobiographical about it. But I mean, yeah, some of it's written in points where you're like, I think he's tripping right now. Oh, it's, it's really sure. bizarre. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Well, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably was tripping. All now. I mean, if you're on, the, <laughs> if you're on that bus, indefinitely. Like, yeah, hey, you didn't like, sit on a seat, did you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you, did you want to talk more about the test? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, how is your pointer finger or ring finger longer when you look at it? Uh, they're almost the same. No, my ring finger's longer. See, my ring finger's longer. This, so, Zach, do you want to talk about the study? Because this came out in a reel today, and I was like, God, people are going to think I'm a lunatic. <laughs> well, I did add sound effects, too. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking for the... <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, no, AJ says, apparently if, you're, if your ring finger's longer than your pointer, your index finger, that you're more likely to have, like, dark triad personality traits. So so now we're testing everybody. Your team AJ. It's different. <laughs> yeah. They're Let different. Let me see your hand, That's Zach. Great. If you put it down. So is it? Look, we're all. <laughs> I mean, yeah, mine is definitely. Oh, yours is pretty straight across. Yeah, yours is pretty close. Oh, look at this one. Oh, the right one. But the yeah, right one weird. is, a, that it's one's a little just, bit longer. I think I broke just this Just a little. It's like crooked. Oh, yeah. My left one is shorter as well. It's not, but the right one is definitely longer. So 
I've always noticed too, like my hands, if I line them up, I I always thought that it had to do with uh, playing guitar, but my right, the fingers of my right hands are shorter. Huh. I always thought it's because I'd worn them down, <laughs> wow. strumming. But huh, like if you line up the cracks of your like knuckles in your hands, like are your fingers the same length from the knuckles? Mine are pretty close. On both, we're looking at both. Yeah, like hand to hand. Yeah, like. Yeah. I think cans are like titties. Like one of them is bigger. <laughs> First of all, one's bigger than the other one. Yeah. I got one awkward. <laughs> yeah, I, I have broken joints that are this this finger's crooked. This one's yeah, crooked. Yeah, my this. How'd knuckle. you break your hands? Skating, <laughs> basketball. Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably basketball. Yeah, I don't know. I you still old, skate, old, right? I do. Yeah, yeah a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. It's, uh, those falls are starting. <laughs> <out>. <laughs> it's getting rough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like five years ago, I was like skating down 16th Street Mall, oh. and just like ripping. And man, I hit a rock and fucking just like went flying. And uh, I was like, "Holy shit, I can still take a fall." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, it but when I hit, I was like, I don't know how many more of those I have in me. <laughs> yeah. That, that's the key to skating, though, is knowing how to just soften your body and not fight that fall. Oh, yeah. No, I went into a roll. You know, I, I know not to try and, no, you, yeah. you go with it. You go with yeah. it, but that's sometimes that hurts. Yeah. That hurts, oh, too. Yeah. Those yeah. Hurt all the extremities. Like, yeah. 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 Especially if it's off a, of, I don't know. I used to jump off a of stupid shit onto concrete. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, my last fall, I was just riding down a hill. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, never. I mean, I did. I do do that. I haven't done that in a while though. Are yeah, you on a regular kind of skateboard or like a like, longboard? Uh, a long, a smaller longboard essentially. Okay. Um, but I have a regular deck too. I ride that sometimes. Gotcha. Yeah. I have a regular yeah. deck with the longboard wheels on it that I like. Yeah. To, that's like my cruiser that yeah. I like. If you get those soft gumball wheels, like that's the way to do it because you can get a, you can get up over rocks. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, for sure. Well, when I was a kid though, I liked like little donut. That was like my yeah. shit, you know, because yeah. I was I liked to street skate, so it was yeah. like the big wheels. You'd be going too fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like I'm going way too fast to try and do whatever the fuck I'm doing. And also just like ground tricks and stuff, I felt like it was just easier, lighter. Yeah. More pop. But, yeah. God. Dude, I loved bombing down hills when I was younger. I had a, a Lance Mountain Pal Peralta board. It shows my age, but and I was in Rushville, Missouri, I believe. And I'm just hauling ass down this road. There was no traffic at first. And then all of a sudden this car behind me has an old Chevy Nova and it honked. And I was already getting the speed wobbles. And I was like, uh, oh. and it just threw me off. And I remember like it was almost jumping where you're trying to slow yourself down. And then I heard him. He just hit the board and the board is going over me as I'm just trying to catch myself. God, it was so scary. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. He didn't even stop for you. That's, no. Yeah. Wow, you didn't get hit by the car though, right? No, but the board nicked his door, so. You had to pay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did he stop and was he like mad at you? No. Well, he was yelling, but I'm like, what do you, dude, you hit me. Like if I wouldn't have tried to get off, like you would have hit a child. I was yeah. like 12 years old. Yeah. You're like, if this was 2016, someone would have caught you on their ring doorbell camera yeah. and you would be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God it's the early nineties, bud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, did, did you skate like growing up and shit? No, I skated. I started late. I was like 24 when I started skating. Oh wow. wow! Yeah, I mean, I skated. You know, kids, you play around with a little Walmart board and all that. But I skated, started skating for real when I was 24. I used to ride bikes. I was like really into bikes when I was a kid. So I like hit. I jump off all kind of crazy shit on a bike. Did you snowboard ever? Or do any of that shit? Uh, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> I got into board sports late. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was 24. Yeah, 23, 24. Did it have to do with, like, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater at all? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> not at all. No. I was around a bunch of kids that skated. So when I was teaching, they it was just, like, a bunch of skater kids. And, like, I don't know. I kind of It was kind of a way to bond with them. And then I just wanted to. I always wanted to skate. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to just start skating. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't know. So you yeah. used to be a teacher. Yeah, yeah. 
for, yeah, for a ja- little bit. Tell us about this chapter yeah. in uh, D. Kelly's life. Man, I got a lot of just a lot of job chapters. Uh, teaching was <laughs> one of them. Yeah, Did you go to school not, to be a teacher, no, or were you just subbing? No, I was. Uh, so I, if you work at a charter school, you just need subject matter mastery. So you yeah. enough credits in that subject, and you can teach that subject. So I, and you were teaching skateboarding. I was teaching. <laughs> <laughs> I went to college four years for skateboarding, Colorado State. Uh, no, um, I was a pre-engineer major in, in college, so I took a bunch of math, and I ended up changing my major later. But I had all all these math credits and shit like that. Um, Would you end up majoring? I went, to, I went to school for arts. You know, I had found yeah. comedy. Yeah, I was like, all right, I'm gonna do theater. Uh, couldn't do it. I transferred a bunch. I couldn't couldn't make it work to like graduate with theater. So I just took some electives and ended up getting a liberal arts degree in social sciences and uh, ethnic studies. But I had a shit ton of math credits, so I graduated. Looking for jobs, whatever. I'm like, all right. Fuck it. So I applied to be a math teacher at this school, and I got it. Did that for like a couple of years. Wow. And, uh, it's like, how am I going to reach these kids? I got to start yeah. skating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it was rough. It was like, <laughs> it was rough. It was I, a rough school, yeah. Well, I always thought that that was an interesting time, too, to like, like, that's an interesting age to be a teacher, because you're like not, like, were you teaching high school? Yeah. High school, uh. So, and it was basically an alternative school. So I was 23 when I was working there. My cl- Your oldest, oldest student, student was 21. Was 21. <laughs> yeah, my oldest student was 21. And then it was like 18, 19, 17. You know, they're, yeah. they're pretty old. All the way down to middle school. Like yeah. 11, 12, I think was my youngest student. The oldest here's like, is 21 years old. Yeah, I got to reach weird. these kids. Yeah, it's weird. You're like, if I fall 17 times trying to do a kickflip, <laughs> yeah. what, at what point will Mr. Kelly succeed? <laughs> Not even that. I would just like <laughs> see him out in the streets, you know, see him at the skate park. Like, I wasn't. They inspired me to skate. Yeah. Really Did you take bit. it to, have you been to the skate park? Yeah. Do you ride bit. the, bo- you drop Not, in the uh, bowls and stuff? No, not much anymore. Yeah, that those always falls are starting to hurt. But. I didn't. I never wanted to come up over the rim, but I always thought it'd be fun to kind of zip uh, around on the round walls. Yeah, I get in there a little bit. Yeah, yeah just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm not like Tony. Don't don't like I mean, D. Kelly could do. No, don't. Uh, D. But. Kelly, you mean D. Kelly Hawk? You haven't <laughs> seen. <laughs> just a little bit. Little, little things here and there. So you were. Uh, so you you were a teacher for a while. Teacher, oh, uh, shit, man. We going down my resume or what? I brought it. <laughs> I have it. I have it. Um, yeah, I've done well, a lot. I don't we know can, sales. We can pivot shit. a little bit. Uh, how about uh, jam bands? You ever fuck with jam bands? <laughs> uh, no, no. I don't. I don't know anything about a jam band. What about <laughs> jazz? You ever get into jazz? Uh, no. I mean, biologically, what? My father, <laughs> my father's an old black man, so I grew up on jazz. Unfortunately, all of it, saying, all the biologically, yeah, it's just my, in uh, there. You my know, father was a saxophone. Uh, every dentist I go to, um, <laughs> every elevator I'm in. Um, no jazz. Uh, I like jazz. I'm not. I'm not a big jazz fan. Yeah. I'll do like like uh, jazz, just chill hop. You guys, you fuck with chill hop at all? Oh like, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's low, probably, lo-fi. Yeah, lo-fi. That's probably the closest to jazz. I'll I just get. I just got into this band called Spyro Gyra. Okay. And I got some vinyls. And I mean, it's I'm not gonna lie, dude. It sounds like heavy yeah. elevator music, but it is it's everything I love about jam bands without yeah. the lead up. Like they're just right into the jam. To the point that I think we're gonna go, we're gonna go see them okay. <laughs> at the Boulder Theater. These guys are old in suits, and it's just these old dudes just going, and they'll look at each other and go, <laughs> it's just gonna be wild. Yeah, no, fuck. What was the band? You turned me on to somebody in South Dakota that is fucking dope. Uh, Bakar, maybe. Yeah, Bakar. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's really tight. Yeah. Who's that? Uh, it's kind of like some soulful. It's like, I don't, I feel like there's like a new movement of shit that sounds like old, like 60s and 70s, yeah. like Motown soul shit. And yeah. like, he sounds like that. But I noticed something. It was the first place I saw it there was he had a version of his track that was just like faster. Yeah. And like, I guess like that's like the new 
thing people are doing to try and like actually make money off of streaming. Like they'll put their fucking album out and then they'll release all the tracks sped up at double yeah. time. Yeah. 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 Really? And then they'll do like remixes of a bunch <laughs> of tracks. Like there was a gosh, there's some rapper that just put out an album and with all the remixes and everything, he, he released 128 tracks. Oh, shit. Dude, we should, what if we did that with comedy? We're just like, <laughs> yeah. hear my jokes as uh, like the one of the chipmunks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you. I've actually thought about that before. Like when all this shit was going down, like or still is with the reels and everything, I was like, what if I just uh, put every fucking set that I did out? And then I was like, man... I would fucking hate that. But <laughs> yeah. Dude, I But I'm surprised somebody hasn't though, or it's just like, yeah, I they live I'm surprised somebody doesn't live stream every single one of their fucking sets or something, you know? Yeah. Like I, uh, I wanted to release I have it at home. I wanted to release a uh a, like a hidden track on the album that is a trip track. It's literally it's it's wild to listen to because it's three jokes happening at the same time, but one of them is in reverse. Oh, shit. And it's just fucked up to hear. Yeah. And if you could put a, a light beat to it, like it's, I don't know, 90 seconds of just bizarre shit. Yeah, the first, uh, I remember specifically the first time I heard a hidden track, and it scared the fuck out of me, dude. <laughs> it was, was uh, a tool? No, it was uh, Nirvana. Uh, never mind. There's okay. a hidden track and it plays like 16 minutes, I think, after 16 or oh. 17 minutes, like after the last yeah. song. And it's like fucking kind of crazy. I'm pretty sure it's that album. It maybe is, maybe it's in utero or a different Nirvana. I know it was Nirvana, but yeah, it, it was one of, it was a night that me and my friend, we stayed, it was like one of my first times staying up all night. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we were like up in the like early morning and that fucking thing went off and I think it was also when I just kind of started smoking weed. Yeah. And uh <laughs> Yeah, you know, it was like, "Oh no, like yeah. the world's ending there for a second. And there and then where's that sound coming from? And it's like, you know, oh, it's the fuck, it's the jukebox, yeah. but it scared the shit out of us. Well, and then, then we, when you try to find the track, it's impossible. Yeah. Well, was, was that on tape? <laughs> It was on a CD. Okay. So yeah. you just got to wait it out. Yeah, you just got to wait. Or you can fast forward because, the yeah, the final song, I think, is just like 19 minutes long or something with this yeah. weird track on the end. Wait. Nirvana had um, – dude, on the, the – what was it? The Unplugged, I think? Yeah. There was that – they did a remake of that Meat Puppet song that was – would just come in later. Yeah, that – it wasn't that. It's it's like a weird. It almost sounds like reverse shit, kind of. If I remember right, ah. but uh, yeah, it's very. God, I just very remember. strange. And then we went to Ace Ventura two. Oh shit! Oh dude, the next day, <laughs> and I fucking fell asleep in the movie theater. That's oh. my first time falling asleep. In the movie <laughs> Guano! Wow. Yeah, no. I remember him like ripping out of that rhino's ass, and <laughs> yeah. you know, like this is fucking great, and then being like. Chicago, uh, Chicago. <laughs> Everyone's just like down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Ace Ventura too. Man, did you uh, did you smoke weed growing up? You, you ever been a, really a weed guy? Um, yeah, high school, but it was all bad shit, man. We used to get like hood weed. It was like clumps and fucking seeds. Yeah, and, like, brick weed. Yeah, you get a headache every time. Like it was not. It was never a pleasant experience until I got to like college, man. That shit was, we do we'd smoke and like, but it headache every time, paranoid, whatever. Oh yeah, right. You getting bloody fingers and shit. Like our shit used to be like tough. <laughs> like, like you could, it's a weapon and a drug. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> we used to get we used to get swag that they would use. I think like the tire pumps oh, to like fuck. brick it. Oh, wow. And, like, sometimes it would even be, like, good weed, but it'd just be so compressed. Like, I remember, like, getting an ounce that was, like, yeah. fucking... What do you mean by the tire pumps? Like, uh, like a jack. Oh, gotcha. Like, I think they would use, like, a jack to, like, press it into something, you know? Oh, wow. But it was these hockey pucks of weed, and, like, yeah, a, like, a hockey puck was, like, a quarter pound. Jesus. Yeah, that's, yeah. You know, so yeah, like a quarter of a hockey puck, if you imagine, is an ounce. 
And yeah, I don't know. That that when I weighed out an ounce of that weed, I was like, I'm never eyeballing <laughs> weed for somebody <laughs> ever again. I was like, fucking what the fuck? Yeah, because a hockey puck didn't look like much. No. I mean, it's still yeah, like it's that. Wild. It's wild. Like I saw some homegrown the other day and an ounce of that like filled up like a fucking uh filled up like a mason jar. Wow. Wow. And then like I got a half ounce from of like some really dense grown shit and it's like will fit in a fucking film canister. Yeah. Almost, you know? so. <laughs> Ziploc. Yeah. So yeah. So uh smoking a little weed, did you did you trip at all? Uh it wasn't my first trip. No, not when I I you know what I tripped on weed uh, once a couple times. You tripped on like you oh, ate it? Like yeah, we had I, I had a crazy edible experience and a crazy like blunt smoking experience. Yeah. Um like you think the weed was maybe laced or something? No, it's I think it was technique and the strength. So, it was when I was in college and I didn't do weed. It was like I was running track still, so it weed was like every once in a while it was like a special occasion type shit. And and me and my friend we smoked two blunts from like I don't know, some Cali shit. She was from Cali, got it flown in. So when I was younger, a technique of smoking, we used to hit it, and then you'll swallow the smoke. So you'll hit the blunt, and then inhale, and then swallow. So I did that for two blunts worth of, <laughs> and then it's rolled in like a Swisher Sweet, yeah. you know what I mean, or a White Hour, some like heavy tobacco shit. I'm a, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Anyway, we smoked two blunts uh, and walked back to the dorms, and the world turned ninety degrees on me. Yeah, like, uh, my vision went. From like I'm looking straight, everything is at a 90 degree angle, and, yeah. but everything else is normal. But everything is turned 90 degrees, and I'm like walking, and it's the most trippy shit I've ever experienced. That's what no one really talks about these days. Is I remember in probably 1995, uh, hanging out on the hill where I grew up, and uh, we smoked. I think it was a blunt, yeah, and everyone was fine. But when we went to go back into my house. There was a point where like the bricks just kind of ran and all the perception was fucked up. Yeah. And uh I was like, what's going on? And the girl I was with was like, I'm not even that high. And I'm like, oh God, I'm broken. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I had to go right back and take a shower. Like I couldn't I couldn't fucking talk to anybody. I was so fucked up. Well, and you're I think when you're younger too, your brain like different shit can happen. But weed, I don't know. I remember being in dare. Like when I was smoking weed and like reading, and they're like, uh, they basically had weed classified as psychoactive, like acid and stuff. And I remember yeah. being like, that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is considered a light psychoactive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I, I, you, I, so I definitely have had experiences with eating a lot of edibles where, where I'm fucking seeing, seeing a little weird. Yeah. yeah. But when I don't, I don't smoke that often. It fucks me up. Like, Dude, I got really high on some cannabis cup stuff one time, and I was with my old roommate, Chris, and I fired it up, and uh, I was like, you're, you're going to hang, right? And he goes, yeah, and we're on the couch. All of a sudden, the phone rings, and he leaves the room, and that the paranoia starts to come on. He's laughing on the phone. I'm like, freaking out. Yeah. So I went upstairs, took a shower, got ready, came back downstairs, and he goes, you going somewhere? And I'm like, no, I'm getting ready for bed. I was like, I have no idea what I just did, just on autopilot. Yeah. Yeah, we used to do this thing called the... Well, I, we called it the cigarette trick because I started with the way that you would smoke cigarettes after you got high to get you higher. But you could do it with the weed and the cigarettes. But basically what it was is you would take a big hit and then you would start letting the letting out air till you saw smoke. And as soon as you saw smoke, you would inhale again. And then you would start letting it out until you saw smoke. And as soon as you saw smoke, you would inhale again. Ah. And you just kept doing that and... Uh, You're like hyperventilating. It, well, yourself. no, as a kid, I'm like, this gets you so high. Yeah. And then as an adult, I'm like, yeah, we were just cutting off the oxygen yeah. to our brain. <laughs> it's, it's, it's asphyxiation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, that trick was basically just, uh, you know, killing brain cells yeah. in another way by cutting off the oxygen. So, yeah. yeah. It's like doing nitrous without the nitrous. Yeah, it works, though. I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm sure it does. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I remember I would teach that to to kids, and they'd be like, "Oh my god, I'm so yeah. fucked up." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I do not share the swallow the smoke tip with anyone anymore. 
to yeah, cut that I've off. I've never done that. So, like, does the smoke not come out? Are you, like... It comes out. But, I mean, it, like, you burp, you burp it out, you'll fucking... <laughs> you fart it out? Yeah, that'd be the it best. It comes out. Just, it, you, but, yeah, try it. Next time you... Just, <laughs> Well, <laughs> even you can do it with a joint. Just try it like once, inhale, wasn't, and then just swallow. Wasn't and, there and some shit like, where I'll go grab a joint right now? I'll swallow <laughs> smoke right now. <laughs> wasn't there some shit though, like uh, with the sci- Like I had a science teacher where you like if you blow, put your thumb in your mouth and blow. Oh, I remember that. After you smoked a cigarette, like some smoke will still come out of your lungs. That's like trapped in your lungs or whatever. Oh, shit. So yeah. I. Yeah, if just if you went and then exhaled, I think that happened. Yeah, you'd like you blow into your finger and then smoke would come out. You and I'm not sure if this is an urban legend or not, but I remember hearing that there was a teacher that would tell students to do that so they could tell if they were smoking cigarettes or not. Huh. Like in class, like yeah, they'd be the like, thing "Here's a fun program. thing to do," and they would do it. It's crazy and, to uh, me. Now. They'd be like, "Bust it!" Wow. Also, like <laughs> it's it's wild to me to think about how I, I believe that no one could smell the cigarettes when I was younger, and like it's so obvious now. Yeah, I smoked in high school, and yeah, they had to know right away. I got caught with a bong in science class because I just brought a bong in in yeah. my coat, and my teacher was immediately <laughs> like, "This kid <laughs> smells like a fucking bong." <laughs> this was one of the dumbest in moments of my life. So I brought a bong into the science class where my teacher was an ex DEA agent. Oh shit, <laughs> Jesus! He's like, "No, it's yeah. a beaker. I promise. Yeah. It's not." Yeah, Mr. Gint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, he knew right away. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, no, I came in and he was yeah. like, "Dude, what the f-? like?" He was just, he's like, he just came, he walked by me and just grabbed my coat and brought it up to the front of the class. And he's like, "Zach, go wait in the hall. The cops are on their way." <laughs> like, dude, what? What? <laughs> so here's the qu- why did you bring the bong in? Well, because I'd just gotten high. Yeah, he just smoked it, and no. I should. I, if I would have been smart, I would have just not gone back to school. But I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a good boy. Yeah, I'm going to be a good boy. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be a good boy, get high, go back to class. And I had a pack of cigarettes, Marlboro 25s. Oh, Those were my favorite. 25 oh. in a pack. Wow. I did the Marlboro mediums. That was a big one for me. Well, they were reds, but they were 25 of them in a pack. Ah. Like you could buy a bigger pack of smokes. All my friends smoked menthols. Yeah. Dude, I, yeah, I did the Newports did. for a while. <laughs> Newports and Cools. Yeah. No, a lot of people did when I was growing up. <laughs> I I still have a thing against mint because it reminds me of brushing my teeth. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I remember mint. Do you like, like mint flavored stuff? Like ice cream or sometimes. Yeah. Maybe I mean sometimes. most people do. Sometimes. Yeah. Are you a like are you a mint chocolate chip guy? You ever? I can eat mint chocolate chip. Would you but pick that remember, out? Like you have you have a, you have a chest full of ice creams. You would pick that out of there. Oh, no. I don't know if I would go for yeah. it. <laughs> I, it's a be. You're it, like fuck. I guess grandma. This is all grandma has. <laughs> yeah. Have to be in the mood. But I do remember when I would smoke pot. There'd always be one person with menthols because they would figure that no one wanted them. But yeah. after smoking pot, I always thought that a menthol was refreshing. Yeah, a lot of people were into it, and. I was also paranoid because of the like the fiberglass was yeah. what we were always told is that they crystallized your lungs. And I heard that somebody who smoked in Newports mm. got in a car accident and their lungs <laughs> shattered. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard that. <laughs> Good old glass lung. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's crazy. But, I've never heard that. That's but, a wild one. But wow. yeah, the house where I stayed up all night. And we heard that uh, Nirvana song or whatever. We were smoking cools because his mom smoked cools, and he would like sneak steal them. Yeah, and uh, you know, do you smoke them if you got them? You wear sandals or slides or anything? Slides. Okay. With socks. Socks and slides. I need new slides though. I don't. They're like house house shower shoes now. So you don't leave the house with your with your piggies out. (laughs) Maybe. Not far, but I'll, I might go to the grocery store. Or <laughs> gotcha. But you're not, not going to do a of show just with my toes out. out. No. Do you have? Oh, go ahead. Oh, do you have you ever had a pair of Birkenstocks? No, I have, want some though. 
Yeah. I'm yeah. not against them. I'll get, I'll, yeah. Dude, I just got a brand new pair of Birkenstock clogs that I can't wait to break in. Yeah. You're like, I'll, I'll wear them in South Dakota. <laughs> yeah, no, I, heard I heard they're great. I heard they're very comfy. They're life, they're yeah. life shoes. Once you get into them, it takes a little while to break them in, and then they, they're your shoes. Yeah. Or do you ever run around barefooted? Yeah, at home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like outside? You mean like, like in, outside. The, in the woods? On the yeah. way. In, in the world? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever go to the store with your feet out? Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Like, but outside of the house? Um, like where though? Like, uh, well, you know, I mean, like so if I'm at the park, yes. If I'm at, at the, the beach, if I'm, if so I'm you, like in a barefoot, do you like zone? Do you enjoy? Like, what would you feeling? consider barefoot? So park, beach? Are <laughs> yeah, there park, any other where's the barefoot uh, around zone? my house? Where do where do spiders maybe, attack you? Maybe, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dia has a great joke about how spiders always want to fuck with you when you don't have any shoes yeah, on. I always keep a pair of socks on me. <laughs> Uh, but do you like the the <laughs> feel of like fresh grass on your bare feet? Yeah. Okay. I don't have any grass around my house, so and then and my dogs have the backyard. They shit and piss everywhere, so I'm not walking barefoot back right, there. Right. And then there's rocks everywhere. It's, yeah, it's dirt, new build shit. There's nothing. There's nowhere to really walk barefoot around okay. me. But Maybe park, construction beach. Now. Yeah. If I'm like yeah in a barefoot place. Yeah, <laughs> or if I love, I'm like running I the air. The idea of just like, is this a barefoot zone? Just a yeah, sign that's barefoot, says barefoot zone, zone. Yeah. and it's <laughs> grr. Yeah, um, yeah, just not anywhere. No, I, I, I might run an errand. Like, let's run down here to Walgreens real fast with my toes out. Maybe. Okay, like you're not running in. You're just driving. But, no, I'll go in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. summer. It's summer. It's got to be hot at least. Yeah. I'm not having my feet out. If it's cold, I don't do that. I Are know you, some people don't care. It's year round. Yeah, some but people. I, it's got to at least warm. That's another barefoot zone. That's, warmth. Colorado is a weird, a weird thing that uh, it took me a little bit to get used to. Is guys will wear shorts and um, uh, fuck, like flip, flip flops yeah. or sandals, like all year round. Yeah, chacos are the big one. You yeah. know, all year. I will run and grab something out of my car when there's like a foot of snow on the ground, barefoot. Yeah. Okay. I yeah, it's uh, well, it's kind of like a fun little. Yeah, it's like it's a, little, a little. It's a little yeah. extreme challenge. What, yeah. What's yeah. underneath yeah. that like, snow? <laughs> see how far I can go. Yeah. Well, and you, you know the snow. If it's if it's if you've got a decent amount of snow, you're not hitting b bottom. Yeah. You know, right. You're just you're just. It's a little ice bath. For it your is feet. exciting. Yeah. yeah. People are paying money these days to climb into a, a tub of cold water. When it snows, you can just go outside and do things for a short amount of time with your shoes off. God. I'm going to try it next time. Yeah. <laughs> no, I am. I'm going to take, take your word for it. I'm going outside in yeah, the snow. Yeah, you'll, you'll come back and, and you'll be like, you know, I'm a badass. I'm a tough. Yeah. I'm a tough footer. I got some tough toesies. Yeah. <laughs> I hate being cold, though. That's like, that's my thing. Of like being barefoot. I don't Me like, too. I, I hate like it more cold, every year like, too. <laughs> every year I get rough. older, I feel it more in my I'm, bones. I get more and more to the point where I, the older that I get, the more I like, like cool shit, like ending the shower with a cold, cold wave, like the last two minutes of a cold shower, just because I sweat so much. In the shower. Like, well, no. I take a shower. <laughs> See, you don't think about this. But when you take a hot shower, it's hot enough where you're sweating. Oh yeah, yeah, too. yeah. You yeah. got the pores wide open. Yeah, so, yeah. well, yeah, it closes closes the pores for the sweat. Like if you're if it's cold, I do I do a cold shower uh, after I finish my showers cold too. Yeah, yeah, that's it's wise. good. It's good for you. Do you, have you tried that? I have. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's been a while. They also it's, say that it's supposed to help with depression, and yeah. I thought about it, and what I came up with is that if you have to take a cold shower every day because you're depressed, your body will turn that around so that you don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> your body's it, like, stop also, shocking me every morning, all right? I'm going to make yeah. you a little happier so you yeah. stop doing this. Rick Rubin also, that was a big recommendation from him. Okay. To every, every creative person should end their shower with two really? minutes of cold water. Okay. I used to play that game when I was a kid. It was like, one of my shower games. How cold? I did yeah, that. How yeah, cold? Yeah. It, was like a, it was in my repertoire, like oh. shower games, you know, like. 
what are these other shower games? <laughs> I need to hear you. Because I, just... I have cold weather cha- barefoot challenge. You got shower games. We do. Uh, move the shower head and then turn it all the way up. And then, like, steam steam it up and see if you can, like, take the heat on your feet and shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, like, just to burn. Yeah. You're trying to burn I mean, feet. I was a kid. It's like, yeah. you know, you play these little. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Burn. See if you can, like, withstand the heat or turn it turn it all the way cold and, like, see how long it I do remember. It I remember the brutal cold at points, trying to get it on the back. Yeah. And then you go, huh? And then once you could get used to it, you'd turn. Yeah. And any part that wasn't <laughs> hitting the cold, it was brutal. Yeah, what is it Tobler that has the joke about how his dad told him to stand in the cold shower because if you could and oh and, and punch and punch because it was the same feeling as getting stabbed. Oh shit. And it, <laughs> that, does, that does sound like Brent. Yeah. And oh. if you could fight for at least that long after you got stabbed, yeah. you know, your chances of I don't know, like yeah. some weird sort of uh Midwestern logic, who knows? But D, do you follow right, your zodiac at all? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, not really. Do you, you know what you cancer? are? You're a cancer. Can- uh, I used to know my moon and like, it like time and all that shit. So I were you late say. June, July, July, early, early July. July? Yeah, yeah, late June, early July. So I'm yeah. early July, the tenth. All right, July tenth. Is that the same as Nathan Lund? Do you guys have the same birthday? Um, yeah. Yeah, wait, is it Lund? No, uh, me and me and um, Hendo have the same birthday. Okay. Uh, Eric Henderson. Yeah. And um, uh, uh, damn, don't let me forget. Hold on. <laughs> Shit, Sushi, all right. Uh, uh, Katie Bowman. Oh, wow. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, like the same day. There was a bunch, there was actually like six of us at one point. I won't name the other two because they're, <laughs> they're to remain unnamed. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, John Toll and I have the same birthday. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, I don't want to claim them. Like, yeah, I get it. Like, wow, there's three that you have that you don't want to name on air. Uh, two, yeah, two other ones that were comics. You know them. You probably know them. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, they, we're, were, I'm like, they weren't here. around, but. Thomas Pickett and Nick Olivas. Oh wow! I don't remember those guys. No, I don't. Yeah. Maybe there's one. I love more. how there's you held else. the beat there's button some, yeah. until <laughs> he, he started go, yeah, dropping yeah. the names, yeah. <laughs> which is why I wasn't going to name them because people were like, "Who the fuck are they? They haven't been around in years." Well, okay, so it wasn't a, like they did anything bad. Yeah, it was we just have a surprise like, for you. Bad at comedy. Uh, that's okay. All. Yeah, just, we have a surprise bad. for you today, uh, D. They're under the table. Yeah, fuck hippie, not hippie. Check out our new podcast. What's happening under that table? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, man. Oh, they used to. I, mean, I meant to bring this up earlier. They used to smell uh, at the kids' fingers at Wait, my what? school to see if they smoke weed. Are you oh, serious? Yeah, the principal would like line them up and smell their fingers and shit. <laughs> wow, which that is <laughs> that is <laughs> dedication. Yeah, she like fucking smell their fucking God cuticles and like under their nails. And what shit. would you? I know what I know what a lot of boys' hands probably <laughs> yeah. smell like in high school, which is their dick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing. If you knew, okay, so if you knew he was going to be smelling your fingers, would you dip them in something weird before? Well. I, I used to get the, the hand smell test when I would come home uh, when I was younger, and there was natural, uh, like, spearmint or mint bushes on oh, the so way you just home. just hit that. So I would grab handfuls of it, and I would rub it all over my hands and all over my body. I like it all over my <laughs> face. Well, yeah, because they would smell my hair. That was a oh, big shit. one as they would oh, come, yeah. and they would, like, stick in, and they would smell my hair and be like, oh, you've been smoking or whatever, and... I would normally say, that's the other bad kids, you know? I told them, stop it. Uh, Did you have long hair at that time? I did for, so eighth grade was the first time I had long hair, which is also the year, I mean, I I tried weed for the first time when I was 12. Okay. And I was 13 in eighth grade. So there was like a group of us in eighth grade that smoked weed. I remember coming back seventh grade summer on the bus and it's like, I tried weed. And there's a few other kids that are like, me too. And they're like, how many times have you done it? And I was like, 
four times. And they were like, whoa, four times? <laughs> You're a guru. <laughs> That's hard at that yeah. age, man. That's yeah, not- four times? Holy shit, dude. You've yeah. seen things. Yeah. Yeah, so I just wonder what my parents thought when I came home smelling like fucking Trader Joe shampoo, you know, like yeah. fucking rosemary, sage, and thyme. Because I would do it with sage, too. <laughs> like if there's, if there's sage, I... I was I would use nature yeah, to cover up my the, smell. So whenever I would, yeah, sage, yeah. I I would Zach Maz, nature yeah, boy. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> well, and sage is weird because it kind of smells like weed. Yeah, it does. yeah. I do. I yeah. love the smell of like wild sage when you get it out here. That desert sage yeah. is really something. Especially burnt. It smells just like weed when you burn. Yeah. It. Do you burn stuff? Um, a little bit, not really. Okay, a little bit. Not, What's that? I mean, I had a incense thing one time, sage? like a say incense sage sometimes. What for? Uh, mostly for the weed smell. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was waiting for something of, sly. Like I just no, wanted to get rid just, of the ghosts, I just wanted, but uh, you know, cut the weed a little bit. Just, yeah, just a little cut on the weed. Uh, <laughs> So you so it wasn't to like get rid of evil spirits or no, anything. No, just you know, just to get the, get vibe, rid of the little cops. Vibe, little vibes and yeah. smell, mostly the smell. You own any tie dye? <laughs> Man, I don't think I have any tie dye anymore. Anymore? anymore. Yeah, I mean, when obviously you're the trying 90s, to bond with these kids. I had tie dye in the nineties, of course. Yeah, we all did. Yeah, I made my own tie dye at Hobby Lobby, like the rest of them, <laughs> with my grandma on the back, like we just. Made tie dye some weekends. <laughs> Dude, I remember making tie dye blankets at my grandma. She yeah. got the dye and she's like, We could rubber band yeah. it up. Um, yeah, I haven't had a tie dye. I don't I think don't, I don't think I have any tie dye. It's it's just funny to hear you're like, Yeah, my grandma was like, Let's yeah. tie dye stuff. Yeah. And and we had a guest on a few weeks ago whose mom was like, If I ever wear tie dye, oh yeah, fucking kill me. <laughs> 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 Uh, it's coming back strong. It's making a strong comeback. Yeah. Actually, it's it's like becoming fashionable now. Again, There's some people about. that I mean, some of the tie dye artwork that you see online right now is it. I mean, it's expensive and beautiful. Yeah. There's a crazy guy that does projects that take th- like hundreds of hours that I've seen where he ties like all this different shit. And, yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, I have one. I have one in my feed. I was thinking. Yeah. Maybe, but uh, well, there's yeah. a the hippie witch does. Uh, she does some wild stuff where she'll do the tie dye and she'll put it like in ice or like in the winter, she'll put it in snow and let, let that naturally dye some stuff. And then she does it on a full moon. So then it's got the energy of whatever that Zodiac was. Wow. In theory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, should, we should get her on sometime to talk about that. Yeah, no, that'd be great. <laughs> it's all on a Fruit of the Loom t-shirt, though, so. <laughs> I was thinking of underwear. Yeah. <laughs> you ever rock a bandana? A bandana? Oh, you know what? Long time. I used to wear one when I was playing soccer in high school. Yeah. Until I lost it in a game. Or it, like, fell off, and I didn't, I couldn't find that shit. But, yeah, I used the to wear it. The team was like, wear like ours a, now. Yeah, it was like that was like the style in like the early two thousands. Yeah, the bandana. What was your style? Was it cover the head um, fully? It was just the... for games too. It wasn't yeah. even like no, I would wear it. Uh, kind of like I a sweatband it. style. Yeah, like a sweatband kind of thing. Or I would like tie it around, <laughs> tie it around my leg. <laughs> <laughs> on the fucking like a cat, you know, the captain, uh, the little captain bar. I would like tie it had like so team this colors for, on it for soccer, yeah. like LL Cool J in the uh, kind of. <laughs> So you played a lot of sports, soccer, track, sports. basketball, yeah. Yeah. picked Everything. up skateboarding when you were 24. Tennis, uh, I'm baseball. Tennis? You're yeah, like, a few I years played. ago, I started fucking pole vaulting, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said I was the oldest guy they'd ever seen start, but I was like, you know, 30, I was in my 30s, I was like, I'm going to start pole vaulting, yeah. you know? <laughs> never, I'll never pole vault. <laughs> you, you can call me on that, that shit is terrifying to me. But you will do a rope swing into a pond, right? I would, yeah, and bust my ass. <laughs> yeah, into a tree, yeah. <laughs> I still have the bruise from three years ago. I will yeah. say, D. Kelly is my favorite person to go to the Black Hills Comedy Festival because every Something year it's like, happened. what happened? That year that you're like, man, I got to open this door. And the people behind us, when you were just going, 
just yeah. throwing up. Yeah, a lot of us, it's a very cherished memory of, yeah. of we were driving up to Mount Rushmore. We'd had some drinks the night before. The road's a little curvy. The vans can get a little hot, all crowded with people. And all of a sudden, we're cruising. We're like, damn, the window's going. Somebody's going. We're like, is that D. Kelly? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, he's losing it. <laughs> I have the video also. Yeah. If you want it, I'll send it to you. Oh, um, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah ab- don't drink absinthe. That shit's. <laughs> not, oh yeah, it's not good alcohol. It's bad. Did I, you I, did you drink yeah. absinthe when they were lighting it on fire in that yes, place? Yes, I had that fire shot. Which is, I don't. I wasn't even hungover. Is the thing I get like sick, like stomach sick with yeah. certain alcohols, and like I'm allergic to certain shit. And I'm I was completely sober. Like when this while I'm throwing, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean. This is hours later. Yeah, this is the next day. Yeah, far into the next day. Well, that's that's it. Sam had a rough time from doing that and eating those eggs. I remember. Yeah, he he let loose on. I think on stage, right in the trash can. Yep. Oh yeah, Sam puked on stage, eggs into a trash can. I forgot about that. I have. He was smoking. We were smoking liquor though too. Did you did you smoke the shit? Yeah. So I had the absinthe fire shot, and then I did the smoke shot. That's what. Was that the year? I remember. I have a video of Zach. Uh, you're pretty drunk. And then you ask Sam, you're like, you're not going to do a set? And Sam's like, no, I think the show's over. We can agree. And he's like, mm, it's my birthday. And he's <laughs> yeah, like, dude, it's no. fine. And then you just start I start throwing, throwing eggs, at eggs at him. No, they weren't hard-boiled. They were, they were <laughs> raw eggs. No, right? they were raw eggs. But yeah. the thing is, is that you can't break an egg on Sam Talent. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. I they were, they, they were just no, dude. They were just off, bouncing man. off of him, dude. Like fucking. <laughs> yeah, Sam's invincible. The raw eggs, man. Like, <laughs> they were dead. Yeah, yeah you'd have to hit him in the top of his forehead if you wanted to break an egg on Sam, <laughs> Sam T. Because yeah, I tried and it didn't work. And no, I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it's my birthday. Oh, yeah. You're not gonna <laughs> do it. Yeah. I just remember you going. You're not gonna do a set on my birthday. And he goes, No, man. The show's over. It's gone too long, right? <laughs> That's the year I hit the tree. Same year. Yeah, I missed that year because uh, I, oh, that was the surgery. I, so I stayed in. and But the next year was the vomit year. Mm. Yeah, the hydro seal. So I did a show on uh, with Liz Mealy, I think is how you say her last name, on Friday. And her boyfriend, when he got a vasectomy, they nicked a blood vessel. Did he get Ooh. a hydro seal? He got... Swollen ball like you. So they said the size of a grapefruit. And then I told him your story and how, you know, every comic in Colorado has seen that picture pretty much. (laughs) And (laughs) and, and her joke is about the doctor, like, coming in and being like, oh, uh, you mind if I take a picture of this? (laughs) Jesus. (laughs) Not for himself because he wanted to send it to the other doctor or whatever. And her thing's like, isn't there, like, a fucking hospital camera phone for that you know that like stays here he's like i just think it's weird that like in this guy's phone there's like a picture of his niece and then just fucking balls. my boyfriend's fucking oh, balls dude. you know like uh, just snapping it on an iphone yeah so he just like snapped it and sent it and she's like i'm expecting to go home and literally see my boy my boyfriend's balls all over the internet you know Jeez. the guy but takes the picture goes i'm not even a doctor i told him about how you took the one with the grapefruit yeah and they just immediately were like fuck should have done that. Why didn't we get? We didn't take one with anything for size. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, yeah. So, yeah, my doctor. I'm still mesmerized by the doctor going, "Man, well, you came in early. It's not even that big." I was like, "It is, and it's uncomfortable." He goes, "A lot of guys don't come in until it's like softball or volleyball oh. size." And I'm like, "Who is waiting until it's a volleyball to go? Oh, this is now a problem." Yeah. <laughs> a guy that's like. Honey, check out how big my yeah. balls are. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you got to, I mean, that, the, I'll be honest, at the size that I had, the weight alone was uncomfortable. Well, it, she had just started dating this guy, I guess, so they, t- <laughs> like, they'd only been together for, like, three, four months or oh, something. Shit. And, yeah, so he, his folks, like, because he was fucked up and she had to take care of him, and, like, he hangs himself from, like, hooks for a hobby. Oh, and has oh, like one of those, and guys. has a bifurcated tongue. So he's like a pain oh. dude who doesn't do any drugs what is or that? anything. Is the bifur- is that the yeah? That's when it's tongue? yeah. That's when it's cut yeah. down the middle. So 
<laughs> he he was in he was in pain, and she was joking about like how when you call the nurses there, they're like, "Oh, a man feeling pain for the first time." They're like, "He's fine." They like she's like they just kept hanging up on me basically. Oh, wow. <laughs> and she's like, "No, this guy's like knows pain pretty well, and he said he's at an eight, you know." So, but yeah, so his parents like call to thank him and she just says like biggest balls in Brooklyn or something. And they fucking, (laughs) and the dad goes, oh, I knew I'd, I knew I'd lose eventually or whatever, or be unseated one day or some shit. But yeah, so no, man, I, uh, I was just sitting in the back like, oh, I know about this. (laughs) (laughs) They they Uh. had to drain it. They, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, that is, that's what happened with yours. They drained it. They had to. Yeah, and it's weird. Well, and somebody else, they don't just drain it. Somebody has to suck it out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> under the table. And that, guy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that guy's under the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's bad because they can remove. Like mine was a a, a fluid sac growth. So oh, really, oh, once so they yeah. got in, they could remove the fluid sac. Oh, okay. But um, yeah, wow. where can people find you, D? Uh, on the internet. Um, no, <laughs> D, um, what my Insta? Yeah, Let's your do Insta. That. D dot, it's D two D's, D double dot D's, Kelly, and it's E Y K E L L E Y. So at D dot Kelly. Yeah, and and, and D has uh, an album out called Salutations. Salutations. Everywhere. People are following you around with cameras. Um, what was going on? With, I haven't. What was going on with oh, all that? Yeah. So I heard, I'm still in the midst. He just, my guy, hit me today. Yeah. Uh, I'm shooting a documentary for. It's for festivals essentially. Um, yeah, it's about the process, for lack of a better way to describe it. I'm not completely sure. He has. Yeah. He kind of like not disclosing some things. It's in black and white, so it's like some. It's like an art. Or, it's an art. Art yeah. kind of thing, you know. Because they were like at the holiday art. party. Yeah, they're at the holiday party. They were, and at, they're under the, the table. table. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be Everything an ongoing good. bit there now. <laughs> um, they've come to a lot. They watch me cook at my house. They come to like just family dinners. They were at my uh, Thanksgiving with my family. Like a lot of shit. They yeah, came they've to, been uh, following you around a lot. It's, it's kind of yeah. like reality TV. Yeah, like, yeah. what's that like having a camera follow you around um, all the time? It was weird at first. It's it's, it's, it's kind of crazy cool. how quickly it's you kind, forget. Yeah, you yeah. forget and you get used to it like quickly. I think probably the second, third day. Like by the time I came to the Comedy Works party, that was like day four already. So yeah. I was like, you know, I was kind of not thinking about it. Um, he's been, but that's he's probably came what the airport with me. He came to Salt Lake and, um, but that's probably what they're gearing shit, for. Like, like after those couple of days when you just forget it, that's, that's when it gets good. That is. And, but I also don't know his vision. Cause it's it's like he's an artist, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like it's like art. It's an art piece, and not just like about the process. It's more about like there's like literally everything. not one full joke in the in <laughs> yeah. the final. Like, <laughs> for example, <laughs> Kelly, all set up. So he's coming to like I'm. We we did sold out Wise Guys in Salt Lake. Uh, with I went with Josh and like sold out. You know, kill all the shows are killer. Uh, he came to open mic with me on a couple weeks ago and he's like this is the best footage that we've gotten the whole time I'm like what the fuck are you making bro like Mm. I'm doing new bits it's like (laughs) shitty mics like Uh. well it's probably too just showing the contrast because yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. it makes like it was a few weeks ago Steve was headlining and uh Voth was opening and uh I'm pretty pretty sure that's how it played out and Voth was talking about how he was opening for like Ron White like the week before, yeah. and Steve's like, "And now you're opening for me." And yeah. he goes, "Yep, that's what this fucking business is like." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it doesn't matter like how like how long you do it, you're still gonna have like a, I feel like weird shows, you know, yeah. especially if you want them. And yeah. I think I'll always want them. Oh, the weird ones? Yeah, yeah. Oh, like dude. if I have the availability to do a weird one, I'm like, fuck yeah, yeah. sign this me is- up. Look, yeah. we did that. I was telling you that, about that. Don't tell. Like the wild thing about don't tell is you don't know what the venue is, right? And we went yeah. to this basketball place. And when I showed up, I didn't even know that I was supposed to be going in there. And once I got in there, dude, there were kids galore. There were families. Like families are getting drunk. Kids are running rampant. And then you go into this little private room. There's a rim. You're on a basketball floor. They got chairs set up. Oh wow! 
And I'm not going to lie. Like I was looking around the ceiling's so high. I'm like, if you don't talk about how weird this is, it's going to be unrealistic. And I told the audience, cause there'd been some ups and downs. And I was like, we're in this together, right? Like you guys didn't know you were coming here. And they're like, no. And I was like, yeah, I didn't know. Cause I would not have come. <laughs> right. right. And the kids, like it felt, it felt like community service. Like that was the weird part. But the, uh, Jeff Nelson was there. And I was like, Jeff, do you know where the bathroom is? He goes, yeah, I'm going. I think it's down here. We go into the bathroom. Outside of the bathroom, there's a little girl uh, out, just outside of the men's room. Already, this is weird. We go in to use the urinal. We're both peeing. And a young boy goes, hey, guys, uh, could one of you be a seal for me? And I was like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not talking to this young What the fuck does that, that mean? That's what, what I'm that saying. Mean? I'm sitting there. <laughs> I'm peeing and I'm like, I'm just going to pretend like this isn't happening. There's nothing good that comes from talking to a child while your penis is out. Like nothing. Yeah. And then Jeff. A seal. Jeff goes, uh, give me a minute, bud. And I was like, Jeff, you don't engage. What are you doing? <laughs> Come to find out what he meant was like a, he needed someone to do a pick and roll. This girl outside of the bathroom had been bugging him. So I was oh. like, Jeff, I'm out. Jeff then sets a pick. As he opens the door, the little girl's there, and the dude just runs around him. And the little girl just looks up at him and goes, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and that was before the show started. And I was like, Jeff, this is going to be a weird one. Yeah, that's different. D and I have a weird one coming up. Yeah? yeah. I just got a message from uh, the mother of uh, one of the students that we'll be performing for. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, you got a private event? We're yeah. doing a prom in Colby, Kansas. Yep. Ooh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. A, pr a high school prom. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And she goes, hey, this may sound like a weird question, but I was just curious uh, what kind of tip you guys usually get. Like, what's the norm? Tell me you went this, high. This is on top of the. I've not responded. I got this message literally 10 minutes before D walked in the door, but. Yeah, I was just gonna say twenty percent. I mean, twenty percent's average. I would have, I would actually push about twenty five. If you know that you usually do a good job, go. I usually crush. Twenty five percent's usually about the average. Yeah, I mean, it is twenty to twenty five percent. Yeah, that's I what say, I would say <clears throat> on a tip. And sometimes it's nothing, and sometimes you know What's, I don't. Do they have criteria requirements for this? I mean, you're talking to high schoolers. PG thirteen, and yeah. we're and it's hiker D and I that are going, and we're each going to do twenty. Oh, that's not as bad. No, no I couldn't bad. imagine yeah. doing an hour. And I and we're doing a country club on the way out too. That should be a really should be a good show in Kansas. Uh, right on the like uh, western eastern Colorado border. Mm. So it's on the way to Kansas. That shows at like eight. We're performing for post prom at like one a.m., so we'll do the eight to ten. Oh, okay. Do an hour like drive to the post prom, do the post prom show, and then come back. So it's well, that's gonna, not so bad. <clears throat> you know, I think it'll be good. Yeah, and work. when I got that other offer, I was like, "What the fuck? I could have just done a fucking <laughs> just, show at a country club." <laughs> and now, I, and then I was like, "Oh the, shit, we can do both of them." And and yeah, it's on the way. Also, that's going to be fun, no matter what happens. Oh, I feel like we'll get a story out of it. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the thing. On the on the drive back, all yeah. three of you are going to be like, well, that was whatever. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's actually, you know, good or kind of fun, you know? Well, I mean, they should be appreciative and, you know, it's a, it's a long haul. And I'm not bringing, you know, I'm bringing good comics. Where, you know, we can all do 20 minutes. They, they should have yeah. a good time. Well, also, and 1 a.m. changes the game. Yeah, it's a whole different thing. To, yeah, yeah, at one a.m. at a high school post prom, that's different than just going. Oh yeah, they'll be as drunk as a late Friday. Crowd. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the best show in Kansas. Yeah, it's in it's in Colby, Kansas. Yeah. There's a kid sneaking a bottle into yeah, that for thing. Sure. You guarantee yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're drinking vodka, so you can't smell their breath. But I was thinking about it, though. It's one of those gigs where I'm going to have to be like, Brett, you're not allowed to drink any beers in the car on the way to this one. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> you don't want to show up to the prom yeah. uh, with more beer on your breath than the oldest kid. Yeah. Well, yeah, and then we got to do the that charity party, and I know they're going to be trying to probably get us to drink, and I'm going to have to be like, ah, sorry, oh, yeah, I got to go. Yeah. I mean, 13. shit, I, I'll drive, so I don't care if you guys do, but um, Yeah. Yeah, it can, yeah, it's got to be. I've done like 11 a.m. high school before, and it's that's way worse. 
Yeah. Like yeah. at the school, in the auditorium, oh, like during those, <laughs> those nooners during school. I've like, done oh, colleges shit. like that where you show up and you go, ah, maybe this won't be so bad. And then you're in the cafeteria while they're eating and you're like, this yeah. is not what I wanted to do. Yeah, those are the words. And this is just money. Like, yeah. I'm not going to feel good about what I'm doing. Yeah. So, D, do you have any crystals? Anything like that? No. Okay. I think I'm ready no to, crystals. Uh, to make my uh, decision here. How, how are you feeling? <laughs> Uh, I, f- I feel pretty good. I think I I think I got one. Yeah. So. All right. All right. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, two one. one. Not hippie. hippie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're going hippie. I did. Yeah, I am. I had a, uh, it, but it's not a lot. Like I got you at a six. Okay. And that Fair is enough. like the the barefoot the barefoot thing is one <laughs> the the immense. Energetic desire for Birkenstocks <laughs> sold me when he was like, "I want them." Don't they? Get, don't, it's not that I don't want them. <laughs> if I was a, if there was a plane dropping rations, I would pray that there were Birkenstocks in the box. Well, it is kind of funny because because. Yes, Birkenstocks. <laughs> but, that's, but that's like the only, the only thing. thing. So it's like yeah. just one extreme hippie footwear choice, and you're like, you know what? I'm sold. <laughs> well, no. I mean, also, there was there was psychedelics. That's not only. That was the big one for me, but also the desire to be barefooted. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think D is low on the hippie score. I would, I feel like 90% of the questions that we asked him today that would normally lean us more hippie, he was like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, that's, but, a, that's why I put him at a six. <laughs> He's not what, enough for me to really. Top 10? Tops is 10. Yeah. Okay. Top 10. Yeah. I got you at a three in the three? not hippie okay. category. Yeah. Maybe a four. Okay. Don't but, think uh, I don't want Birkenstocks. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> If y'all take anything from this, I want Birkenstocks. Yeah, Birkenstock. Yeah. His uh, birthday's coming up in July. Let's make sure that D gets some Birkenstocks. Yeah, it's like we said, somebody's filming a documentary about D right now. If you get some Birks on his feet now, uh, you'll be able to see him on stage wearing them because. Yeah, I'll do it. If, if somebody no, bro, if somebody gets me a pair of Birkenstocks, I will wear them on stage okay. with socks or without. With socks, at well, least one. <laughs> well, because I have cool socks, so I gotta like I like that's like my thing is like, yeah, show them off. Socks. Well, now, I, now socks I feel like and socks. Yeah. Now I feel like everyone on Black Hills is just gonna throw down five bucks so we can get you in Birkenstocks. <laughs> oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, dude, I'll if we can them. do that, I can. I can. If we set up a gift. I can get a I can get a decent pro deal for a gift. Yeah, we got a crowd fund. <laughs> got a crowd fund Birkenstocks for D. Kelly. <laughs> Let's D. Do Kelly it. starts his own festival just called Socks and Stocks. Socks and Stocks. Let's go. Well, oh yeah. yeah. I'm uh I'm excited to see this documentary now. I'm I'm yeah. curious. Me too. I have no idea. Man. <laughs> he told me uh he told me in the in the in the light of um oh Fuck, what's his name? The folk singer. Uh, Bob, Bob Dylan. Dylan. So oh, yeah. Bob Dylan had a documentary in like 60-something. I don't know. Oh, like, he yeah. He said that was his inspiration for this. Oliver Stone? I think so. Wow, it was Black yeah. and White, Bob no. Dylan yeah. documentary about I, like, like I, him creating. That's, I think he's creating an album. Or, that's fucking badass. That, so that he was, wants to follow you for a long time. Yeah, it's already been. He's like still year, like years, maybe. No, not, uh, but not that Bob, year. that Bob Dylan <laughs> probably, documentary probably June. was, <laughs> yeah. but was that wild time where he's wearing a cowboy was, hat and he used to paint his face. Well, yeah, I'm going to uh, see. My friend hit me up right before I sat down for this, but she's like, "Do you want to go see Cat Power cover Bob Dylan's? Oh wow, uh, Albert Hall concert at uh, Paramount." So that's what I'm going to do right after this. But oh nice. wow. But yeah, that's a cool documentary. One of my favorite lines from that uh, documentary is he's like leaving this concert, you know, and there's all these girls like, you know, like screaming, trying to get, you know, probably just like when you get off stage. And, uh, <laughs> 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 Women are going to be throwing yeah. Birkenstocks <laughs> at you now. Uh, D, much hotter than Bob Dylan. But no. Uh, <laughs> That's the name of his next album. Yeah. Hotter, than hotter, than hotter than Bob hotter Dylan. Than Dylan. But, uh, <laughs> But yeah, these girls are like, hey, we need your autograph. We need your autograph. And he goes, if you needed it, you'd already have it. Oh, <laughs> and he just rolled the window and drew off like cold dang. as fuck. Yeah. But, but I always think about that when, you know, people wow. are like, I need this shit. It's like, well, if you needed it, you would, you would fucking have it. So, yeah. 
Um, well, yeah. Thanks so much for coming on, D. Yeah. Uh, D.Kelly Kelly on IG, and uh, yeah, check out Salutations. And uh, yeah, don't forget to uh, to uh, put your uh, name in the hat for the Sphere. Yeah, the Sphere. Uh, we're giving away one GA floor ticket to the Sphere. Five uh, sixteen twenty four opening night Vegas nice. on the floor. So yeah, uh, best way to do that is to follow, uh, like, subscribe do that uh all the social media shit so yeah uh thanks so much for coming on like subscribe and get Get on on the motherfucking buzz who's got it